Hey guys, so this is day two of main idea and supporting details. If you log in live during class, we're going to go over yesterday's assignment so that we can kind of check our understanding and see if there's any questions we need to ask. But because I don't want those answers floating around, I'm not going to post those on this video. So instead, if you are an online learner and you did not log in live to Teams, send your teacher a message if you had a question about any of those answers. We're not going to post the answers in this video. The second thing we're going to do is we're going to practice with main idea and supporting details start questions, and I will cover that in this video. So these instructions are going to be very brief. This is the assignment for today. Again, if you were not able to log in live for the review of yesterday's assignment, this is the only new assignment, but you should send your teacher questions about anything you didn't understand from yesterday's work. You're going to read a passage called The First Computer, and then you have to answer uh, three main idea questions about that passage. Then you're going to read a second passage that doesn't have a name that's about homeschooling, and you're going to tell me the answer to two questions about that passage. So if you read The First Computer and look at the first question, it says, what is the main idea of the passage? A, technology is important to the U.S. Census. B, technology makes professional tasks simpler. C, the first computers weren't used in the same ways we use them today, or D, emails a modern invention. Now, heads up, all of those things may be true. They may even all be mentioned in the passage, but you have to find the, the statement that is the main idea. Which one is the passage mainly about? What is the author's commentary on the topic of the early computers? When you are done with this, you're going to submit your link to Canvas because it is going to be for a grade. Make sure you take your time, you highlight, you annotate that passage because it's only five questions. That means there are 20 points a piece and we are taking it for a grade. 